Hey everyone, welcome to Jersey Concept Friday. It's the day where we look at Jersey concepts from the community, from you guys. All around the world, you guys submit your concepts to the channel and we check them out. Usually they're NHL Jersey concepts. Today is no exception. These are from Brennan and this series of his is called Modern Classic. I think it is, or maybe it's Classic Modern. Yeah, Modern Classic by Brennan. So we've got 32 NHL jerseys to look at. I've not seen these, you've not seen these. Let's react together and give our opinions. Let's jump in. Let's bring up the first one. It's going to be Anaheim Ducks based on abbreviation. Or sorry, these are not by abbreviation, I should say. These are by team name. So the order might be a little bit different since they're not by abbreviation. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, let's bring up the first one, Anaheim Ducks. Ooh, what template is this? <laughs> uh, okay, um, first of all, amazing jersey. But this template, what is? what even is this template? I've never seen this before. This is an actual photo that I believe he has photoshopped and recolorized an actual jersey in. This is amazing. I really like this a lot. The realism is fantastic. The jersey itself is phenomenal. I love the striping. It just kind of fades away a little bit. Like if you look at the left bottom of the jersey, it fades away. If you look at the right, the left sleeve as we're looking at it, but the right hand side, it fades into it. The right sleeve as we're looking, the left hand side kind of fades in. I kind of like that. That's that's pretty neat, actually. That's um, it looks it's very seamless. It's nice, but the colors are good as well. Like the the purple and the green look so good to get together. The logo recolorized a little bit. You even got that little bit of orange in the back of the neck. This is a an amazing start. I like it a lot, Brandon. Let's continue. Boston Bruins. This is I mean, really not much has changed in terms of the actual uh, home jersey, and the sh the shoulders are definitely different. But generally, it's pretty similar, but with some really important changes. The bottom of the jersey specifically, I love the bottom of the sleeves. That is awesome. I like the striping on the arms as well. The shoulders are like pretty much perfect. Like I don't know if I'd even change anything there. This is good. This is really good. I like this. Man, I like this template. This is good. Okay, moving on. Buffalo Sabres. So the goat jersey with different shoulders. And, uh, ooh, okay, so they got the cross sabers down there near the elbow region. The stripes along the bottom is decent. I like the bottom gray on the sleeves, that's nice. Yeah, another good jersey, wow, three, three great jerseys in a row here. Calgary, I really like the Flames logo, colorized like that on the shoulder, balanced nicely with the red in the neck. That is awesome. Uh, the little flames in the striping on the arms in the, in the middle of the jersey is well executed because it's not distracting. It's there when you're looking in that area, you see it, but when you're looking at the rest of the jersey, it fades away in your peripheral vision. And that's exactly what something subtle, or that's exactly what um, good subtle striping can do. And uh, so the execution here is excellent. Now the primary logo, we've not seen that uh, used uh, on a jersey like this, but I, I tend to say that it doesn't necessarily work as a primary logo on a jersey. I prefer it as a shoulder patch, but I will say that this is the best rendition of using the logo that I think I've ever seen. I, I would even say that this actually works and I'm definitely okay with it. So that makes four really good concepts in a row here. Next, Carolina. So we've got the original warning pattern logo. We've got a generic regular striping pattern down below with the, you know, that that warning pattern down below. The, the sleeves have changed for sure though. Like the, the bottom of the sleeves uh, kind of fade into the black. And if you think about uniform, well, they would wear black pants with this. So, and, and also probably a black helmet or a red helmet. I would maybe prefer a black helmet based on what's happening here. Cause you got black helmet coming down to the black of the neck. So good transition there. And then the bottom of the Jersey, lots of black at the bottom of the sleeves. Lots of black at the bottom in the middle of the jersey, bleeding down into the black of the pants. So really good like color management in terms of like uniform planning with this jersey. It's not super innovative or crazy or it's, you know, it's not doing anything magical. It's just a very well put together jersey. So nice again, Chicago. So we've got the stars that are pulled from the city flag. You can see that in the neck. Uh, we've got the alternate logo, which is down on the sleeves. I believe that the, I believe Chicago did that in the Reebok years in a Winter Classic game. I can't remember who they played, but I'm pretty sure they put the alternate logo down on the sleeves uh, near the elbow. I like the shoulders. Maybe would have preferred squared off shoulders, just personal preference, but rounded shoulders are okay. Striping is decent. Um, yeah, it's all right, it's good, not bad at all. Colorado, 
So I guess a variation of the alternate jersey a little bit. Uh, colorization mapping has changed a bit. Shoulders being burgundy, I kind of like that actually. Uh, I think maybe the striping for me just personally in the middle of the jersey is feels too high. I would just kind of skirt that down a little bit. Moving on, Columbus Blue Jackets. Absolutely. Immediately. Yes, immediately. Going back to um, that kind of OG logo. And we've got the Canada logo on the shoulder, so that's great. The white pinstripe. Right now, I think the pinstripe is red, but uh, using a white pinstripe and on the red looks so good. If it was on the white, it might fade away a little bit, but moving the, the white pinstripe from the blue onto the red, good decision, I think, by, by Brennan here. That makes it stand out a lot better and then replicated down below in the, in the stripe in the middle. Um, excellent jersey, honestly, really good. Dallas. Cool, honestly, it's a combination between the alternate jersey that is the um, you know the the one that I honestly thought a lot of people wouldn't like when it was first released, but it has become this bit of an icon in Dallas, the glow in the dark jersey that doesn't glow in the dark, and then combining it with uh, a bit of late '90s, a bit of reverse retro 1.0, it's the star kind of jersey, the, the design, and I should say, I guess All Star Game of 2023, I believe it was. So. This is a very logical decision to uh, a very popular design in terms of layout and a very popular design in terms of color. So combining both of those to me is success. This looks good. Detroit. Okay, so switching up reverse retro 2.0 slightly. I think this is maybe not better, but it's definitely not worse. I would say maybe it's as good. If I have any issue here, it might just be with the shoulders not being symmetrical in terms of the uh, the logo. We have a logo on one, nothing on the other one. So it's just weighted, um, maybe improperly, you could say. Uh, other than that, it's fine. Next, the Edmonton Oilers. So this is reverse retro 2.0 with uh, a couple little tweaks. The orange seems a little bit more vibrant. I'm not sure if that's just maybe my monitor or whatnot, but you know, this it's the cog jersey. It's pretty hard to go wrong with the cog jersey. This looks good. Okay, Florida Panthers, uh, white shoulders actually look really good. I like that a lot. Uh, more yellow used in here too. Blue is the primary color instead of red. It's a modern classic. Like it, this kind of fits right in with the series. A lot of these do, honestly. So uh, yeah, totally fine with this. I like it. Now on the shoulders, it looks white, but down on the sleeves, it looks gray. Maybe it's just the lighting. Maybe it's supposed to be gray. Regardless if it's white or gray, I think both look really good. So there's no, kind of no wrong decision here. I like this a lot. The LA Kings. Okay, so we've got maybe Reverse Retro 2 vibes happening here with uh, current colors, current branding, and a bit of the original jerseys as well. So yeah, it's it's pretty cool. I think this, as an alternate, absolutely. As a primary home or something, no. So I think it, this fits well into the series, you know, if uh, Fanatics did decide to do uh, some kind of series, a, a one-off series, essentially, absolutely. Okay, Minnesota. Hmm, I think this might be a little bit of the lighting, but I think the red is a little bit too dark. It's more maroon than it is red. And I think it's it, it gets too muddy. I think that red needs to be a little bit brighter. Not so much in the logo, it looks okay in the logo, but maybe in the, the striping along the arms. And again, could be lighting, could be uh, just the way this template is. I like the white shoulders though, that's, that's pretty good. I don't know if it's better than their current home jersey. It's obviously similar, green is the primary color, same logo. Um, relatively the same amount of green, maybe a little bit less, obviously, but still pretty good. But I, I don't think it's better than what they currently use as a home jersey. This would be an okay alternate, fits nicely into the series. The Montreal Canadiens. Ah, oh, okay, so we're switching up the striping a little bit. The neck is fixed. Thank you, Brendan, for fixing the neck. I appreciate that. Uh, it's desperately needed. Yeah, I, this is okay. Not my favorite so far, but pretty good. Nashville Predators, the mustard... Mustard Tiger a little bit. The shoulders, the front of the shoulders, it's almost got New York Rangers vibes a little bit with the striping pattern. Much more blue than we're used to, so I, I like that. Uh, kind of like the Montreal one. Not my favorite so far, but good. The Devils, yep, this would be a, a great contrast to their current jerseys. I think this would fit in nicely with their brand and with their arsenal of... Um, of jerseys yeah this is good i like it nothing negative to say i actually like how thick the white stripe is at the shoulders i think maybe a lot of times designers would maybe put like more of a pinstripe but i think making it more thicker here is 
probably beneficial. Just helps balance with the white stripes down below. The Islanders, ooh, this is a nicely executed fisherman jersey. Uh, very nicely, actually. I like the numbers on the shoulder. I like the uh, the collar as well. The The wave is done very respectfully. It's not too aggressive. It still kind of looks like if you, like if you look at the top of the jersey, just in your peripheral vision on the bottom of the jersey, it just looks like regular striping. You almost don't notice the wave until you're you know, specifically looking right at it. Now, I do see a bit of a gradient at the bottom, and I don't know if that's intentional or just part of the template or the lighting or what. I have a feeling that it's not intentional, but it kind of should be. And if it is intentional, wonderful decision. I really like that gradient because the islanders, the fishermen, the lore behind the water, water naturally has a gradient to it in the ocean and lakes and, and whatnot. So yeah, I think Islanders are a really good team to use a gradient in, and this is a really good execution of it. Next, the Rangers. Hmm. I actually think that maybe I prefer the home jersey more. I think the, the shoulders are throwing me off a little bit. Too much red, because in their uniform, they use red pants. With that amount of red up top, would you go with a red helmet or a blue helmet? Yeah, I think, the sh I think the shoulders are throwing me off a little bit. Yeah, this one, I wouldn't say it'd miss. It's not a miss. It's not a bad jersey, but uh, it's maybe my least favorite so far. Ottawa, Ottawa Senators like the, the numbers on the shoulders. That looks really good. The logo looks good. Uh, this The pattern in the arm is pretty aggressive, but does feel a little bit retro. I like the amount of gold being used or cream or whatever you want to call that. Um, that's kind of nice. It does feel uh, like very, very classic, very retro. So that's good. Philadelphia Flyers. Whoa, that is quite bold. The logo is throwing me off. I love the rest of the jersey. The rest of the jersey is really, really good. Great execution. I feel like I'm missing some white in the middle of the Flyers logo. In that, I don't know if it's at the eye or what. Like it's outlined in white, and that's that's good. But I, I'm almost. It's almost too. It's almost too two-tone in the middle or something. So, yeah, it's cool, though. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. The Penguins? Absolutely. This is a perfect Penguins jersey that uses blue as the secondary color, black as the primary, you got yellow as the tertiary or gold, whatever. I guess I guess technically the gray is... is um, but, yeah, man, literally nothing negative to say about this. This is a wonderful jersey. I adore this jersey. Next, San Jose Sharks. Totally. This is better than the alternate that they currently use now. Uh, really cool shoulders. Yeah, I mean, nothing negative to say. Again, simple jersey design. Like, there's nothing innovative happening here. Just knowing the brand and knowing what would look good that complements their current uh, lineup. So, yeah, it's good. Seattle Kraken. Okay, so we've got some striping in the background, replicated on the shoulder, replicated at the bottom of the jersey. I'm down for this, for sure. It's, it's, it is modern classic. Like, he's fitting a lot of these right in with his series, so uh, very on point with this one. St. Louis, no gold, no yellow. Not a decision that I would have made personally, but seeing this is, this is a yes from me. I, I like this a lot, actually. I don't feel like I'm missing the gold or the yellow at all. And I mean, the St. Louis Blues have, you know, some of the best color combination in the entire league, the way that they utilize the the amount of colors. Um, you know, they they use the perfect amount of blue with the perfect amount of yellow. They just, their execution is fantastic. A little bit of red in there as well sometimes. Um, but I don't feel like I'm missing the yellow from this. I think this is well organized. So again, another, another positive jersey design here from Brendan. Next, we've got the Bolts. This is a, a take on the... Reebok jersey, I believe it was, um, but I think made better, honestly. Uh, I think the neck is an improvement for sure. Uh, I don't even mind the off-kilterness of the the shoulder because one has uh, a logo, one doesn't. It's kind of like the Detroit one. I felt like that was a little off, but with this one, the way that the bolt is, is on the jersey, it's almost like the S is heavier than the B because of height. So vertically... The S is lower, which means it holds more weight. So it uh, just like positionally, it kind of removes the amount of weight that's happening on the left-hand side of the jersey as we're looking at it because the S is almost being pulled down on the right. So it's an odd, it's an odd visual balance that's happening here. Um, I kind of like it. It's good. Uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs, totally. 
Yep, absolutely. I really like this a lot. This is better than the first reverse retro. This is better than the second reverse retro. This is really good. Yep, no complaints at all. I like it. Uh, Vancouver. Okay, so yeah, we've got um, color, a couple of um, couple of errors happening here. I I kind of love what's happening in the logo. The bottom of the logo being green, the top of the logo being blue. It's nice. It, it's really nice, actually. I think this is a very well executed jersey. This is one of the best sets that we've looked at recently. This is definitely one of the best. I'm liking this a lot. I thought it was Pittsburgh Penguins Reverse Retro 2.0 for a second. It, it looks like it a little bit, doesn't it? it? But it fits with, with Vegas here. It really does. Um, it's not my favorite so far, but I think that it is well laid out. Yeah, nothing negative to say. The Capitals. Ooh, look at the negative space of the Capitol building in the stripes. I don't think I've necessarily seen that before. I really like this jersey. You got the Screaming Eagle on the shoulder, colorized, uh, very interesting to, to match the rest of the jersey. You've got that uh, that logo that everyone loves in the middle, and it's you're playing with the branding as well on the side from the logo. That's that's adding personality to the jersey. This is a really good jersey. I like this one a lot actually. This is probably top three for me um, so far. And then Winnipeg should be our last one. A great take on a retro jersey that would look fantastic today. This is reverse retro 1.0, recolorized with a better logo essentially. This is. This is excellent. This is really, really good. I don't think that there was a single jersey in here that I disliked. And if, you've, if you're if you a familiar viewer and you consistently watch these every Friday, you know how critical that I can be. It's kind of part of the gig. But I had a very difficult time being critical in this one. Um, Brendan really, really did a fantastic job. I could give honorable shout outs to 25 of the 32 of these. Honestly, I don't know how I'm going to pick my favorite. I literally don't know how. Like, there's so many great ones. I'm going to need a minute. Okay. I do want to give an honorable shout out to Pittsburgh. Like, this is definitely my top three. Absolutely. This is a perfectly executed jersey that uh, has the blue that we that we love, that we want, really. And I don't know what else would be my top three, um, but I got to go with Washington. That's my favorite. It is just, it's so good. Because if you think about Washington, they use red as the primary color. So if you're going to come out with a series called Modern Classic or any series, it doesn't matter. Do you really want to go the Nashville route and do like Nashville has yellow as their primary uh, color in their, their home jersey. It's their primary color of everything. But then you go Reverse Retro 1.0 with yellow as the primary color. You go Reverse Retro 2.0 with the yellow as the primary color. The jerseys were nice, but I mean take a little bit of a risk at least a little bit of a contrasting risk that's exactly what's happening here washington hypothetically with this jersey is taking a contrasting risk by using blue as the primary color instead of red as the primary color and complemented nicely by brendan's design here it is perfectly executed it is different than anything that i've seen before at least anything that i can remember and it it just looks good like dang it looks good so yeah uh washington's gonna be my, my favorite brendan thank you so much for submitting those that was generally one of the best series that i've gone through recently so thank you so much for taking the time to, to submit those here's the thing guys i'm leaving for vacation as i'm filming this i'm leaving for vacation uh for some travels in a couple of days and i have i think two more jersey concept videos to film but after that i'm actually out of submissions from the community so if you are a jersey designer that typically submits to the channel or has always thought about submitting to the channel i this is a, a call to everyone i'm low on sets to review so when i come back from my my travels i'm i don't actually have anything as i'm filming this so i'm hoping in the next three weeks if you know if you've made it to this point in the point in the video and you've got something in the hopper or you want to work on something in the next three weeks if you can get it to me you're going to see it sooner rather than later because I don't have anything at the moment. So um, I would really appreciate it if you've gotten some extra time uh, or you just want to, maybe you're new to it and you want to play around with your creativity or something like that. Have some fun, do it and, and send, a, send in 32 NHL jersey concepts. Details on how to do that are down below in the description. So I would definitely appreciate that if you've got, if you've got time. Um, you can email me as well if you have any questions. I will be traveling, but I will try and respond to any questions that you might have. But make sure you leave down below in the comment section, what was your favorite jersey from this video? Because uh, like, there's gonna be so many different answers because there's so many different incredible jersey concepts that he submitted in this set. So yeah, I can't wait to read the comments in this video. 
If you guys did enjoy this video, please hit the like button. That definitely helps a lot. And if you're new and you want to see content exactly like this, or at least a little bit like this, hit the subscribe button down below and join me here every Friday for a video like this, plus other content as well. Hope you guys are having a great start to your weekend. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Adios. Thank <laughs> you.